going to show how to start and stop a timer in standard time with an RFID tag reader. You're basically taking one of these RFID proximity cards, waving it in front of the reader to start the timer, and then again to stop the timer. And you can use this for employee time and attendance, punch in, punch out, manufacturing, shop floor, any time where you need to start and stop a timer with an RFID tag reader. You probably know that standard time receives input from barcodes, mag card readers, other devices. This card has no magnetic strip. This proximity card works by receiving radio frequency energy from the reader. There's a transponder chip inside here. When it gets close enough, it powers up the chip, transmits this ID into the reader, and then into the software. So let's switch over to standard time to see how to configure the software to start and stop a timer with an RFID tag reader. I have switched over to standard time to configure the software and we're going to click on the time log tab first. You see these six tabs along the top here. Just go ahead and click time log then press the F4 key and you'll notice that the barcode window comes up. Don't worry about that. This window is actually intended for multiple devices including barcode, mag card readers, RFID and other devices. So then just click the barcode prefixes button and the plus symbol. You can then wave the proximity card or tag over the reader and that will read the ID into the name field. You can give it a description if you like, but you definitely have to fill in the fields below. So we have to give it a user and then we either have to give it a project and a category or a task. So let's go ahead and pick a task. And that automatically fills in the project. Click OK. Now you can wave the RFID tag over the reader and that starts the timer. So you see the listing here with the username, the project that's currently running, there's a task that's running and this is when the timer started. This listing will stay here for about 60 seconds and then it will drop off the list. During that 60 seconds, if the RFID tag is waved over the reader, nothing will happen. The timer continues to run and you can see a record here in the background in the time log indicating that the timer has started. So this timer will run. Presumably the user is off doing their work and when they come back they would scan again to stop the timer. So you scan once to start, scan again to stop. I've stopped the timer on that previous scan and added some additional RFID tags. So let's click the barcode prefixes button and you can see some of these other IDs that I have added. As I click through these you see different users and projects. Uh, you must choose a user and a project and a category or a task. So some of these you see projects and category and others you see a project and a task. So without these fields the timer cannot start. So let's go ahead and click OK and then I'll scan some of those. See them show up on the list and now three different timers are running for three different users which you see over here in the time log Again, you see the project, you see the user, uh, category, and um, tasks in certain cases. So multiple timers can run, one for each user, and users are typically assigned to a proximity card or a tag. So they would walk up, scan to start, do their work, and then scan again to stop. So that's all there is to it. Hope it works for you.